Good morning, my dear student. I hope you all are fit and fine. Today we are going to learn one interesting topic that is sharing information. So let's start. So what is the name of the chapter? Sharing information. We share our information in a different ways. You know, we share information in a different ways. So first of all, let's see the learning objectives. After completing this chapter, you will able to understand about information, sharing information. So in this chapter, you will learn different ways in which we share information. We talk to our relatives living at distance places. Describe the benefits of mobile phone and internet. How letters reach from one place to another. Different ways by which we can say things without speaking. So children, in this chapter, we will learn so many things. So let's find out some interesting things. First of all, we will find what are the different ways in which we share information. How do we talk to our relatives living at distance places? What are the benefits of mobile phone? and internet. How do letters reach from one place to another? How do we say things without speaking? So children, we share our information in different ways. Through gesture, through verbal use of language, and through written messages, letters and emails. So Telephone, mobile phone help us to talk to our distance friend and relatives almost immediately. That you know very well. So you can talk to your friend, your grandparent, relatives, those who are living in distance place. So that in that case, you can use SMS. That is a short form of short message service. And through internet, you can send messages. Through email, you can send message. And you can send photographs also. So these electronic means of communication are telephone, mobile phone, and internet are the modern means of communication. So we can talk to our distance friend, relatives through the internet. We can also see them on the laptop or computer. If you want to see them, you can use computer or laptops. Now come to letters. Letters are still popular. Letters are still popular way of sharing information with friends, relatives, officials. Letters from one place are carried to different places by the postman through different post office. Post office use van, train, airport, airplanes and others vehicles to carry letters to different places. So postman play a very important role. Do you know children how it happened? It's a long process. Postman has to go places to collect letters and then deliver all the papers, deliver them. All the post officers in our country work together to make possible. 
when you write a letter and you put it in the letter box when you write a letter when you want to send a letter so first of all you have to write one letter then you put it in letter box after that postman will open the letter box and he will collect the letters so postman opens the letter box two times a day and takes out the letters he makes them to post office and stamps them he takes them to post office and stamps them letters are sorted according to the address after that what he will do he will sort it all the letters according to their addresses after that they will pack in a bag and sent by postal van to different places some letters are then again taken to the post office of different cities and stamped the postman delivered the letters to our house so children it is a very long process so postman will do all these things so now you got to know how the letter come to your house children you can do one activity that is page number 126 it is a very interesting activity you can do it you can try at least first of all you have to go one local post office and then have a look at different types of letters after that you can buy a postcard and write some messages on it for your close friend or for your grandparent grandmother grandfather after that write her or him address at the place marked for this post it in a letter box note the time it takes to reach your train so you can do this activity it is very interesting that is page number 126 so in this chapter what we have learned we have learned first of all the uh, sharing how we can sharing the all the information first of all sms then internet and then email so and what is the full form of email it is electronic electronic mail so we can also send pictures through it this electronic means of communication for example telephone mobile phone and internet are the modern means of communication after that we have learned about letters it is a very important aspect of our society so um, how the postman has uh, will collect all the letters and deliver that we have already learned in this chapter and it is a long process how he will collect all the letters how he will sorted all the letters according their addresses so all these things we have learned in this chapter after that sign languages after that sign languages do you know what what it is sign languages here you can see some alphabets are also there like b c d g h i m s r x y z so children here you can see b how they are using their fingers and how they are moving their fingers how they are um, uh, indicate the line their fingers so this is the sign language generally um those such type of kinds of people means such kind of
their children. Generally, sign languages, what is this? So the suppose uh, some children having some problem of hearing and speaking too, such children are called deaf and dumb. That you know very well, you have learned chapter number two. They have their own sign language. They have their own sign language. They can communicate each other with the help of sign language. They can communicate. So this is sign language. Here you can see all the alphabet. They are using the alphabet in this way. So, what is sign language? We um, gen deaf and dumb people use sign languages to talk to one another. Right? Here you can see uh, Deepak and Sanya can neither hear nor speak, but they have their own style to talking each other. They use the sign language. They respect, the, they represent all these things, all the alphabets with their hand sign. Here you can see B, C, G, N, M, X. That means they have, they are using their own language because they cannot um, talk to each other. They are not able to hear. That's why they are using these languages. So it is sign languages. So children, I will show you one interesting video that is regarding sign language. So if you want to, uh, if you will watch this video very carefully, you will easily understand it.
students i hope you all have enjoyed this video how beautifully she had explain you about sign languages so again i am revising it what we have learned in this chapter please listen carefully we shared our information in different ways through gesture through verbal use of languages means face to face through telephone and mobile phone okay or through written messages means letter and emails after that we have learned in this chapter telephones and mobile phones help us to talk to our distant friends and relatives almost immediately after that we can talk to our distant friends relatives uh, through internet and we can see also them on the computer or laptop letters are still popular uh, way of sharing information with friends and relatives and officials and letters from one place for uh, carry to different places by postman to different post office so postman play a very important role of our society and it is a long process to collect the phone letters and then the, the segregate them means sorted them all the letters according to uh, their this addresses after that uh, he will collect it and uh, deliver them all the letters so post office use van trains uh, and aeroplanes and other vehicles also to carry the letters to the different places we say many things even without and we have learned in this chapter about sign languages means we can say many things without speaking our facial expression and body gestures that we can say a lot i hope you have seen that video a a girl a lady she has had explained all these things how beautifully she has explained bell house ball book bag so all these things we can um, express through gesture that is called sign languages so i i hope you have understood the chapter and please children i request you watch a film of charlie chaplin or mr bean they are very popular actor and tell the story to your friends relatives grandma grandparents that you can share all these things so children um, i request you children i request you please read the chapter thoroughly and uh, at least two or three times read the chapter thoroughly and find out some hard words word meaning try to understand the difficult words if you are facing some problem to understand any sentence or any questions you can ask me in my next class and one more thing um i have um, declared one activities that it is in Uh, page number one hundred and twenty-six. That you can do the activity, and uh, after that um, you can send me your experience. What you have experienced uh, from this activity? It is very interesting activity. So again, I am repeating this activity. Go to the local local post office and have a look uh, at the different types of letters that have. buy one postcard and write some messages on it to your close friend to your parents to your grandmother grandfather and write address at the place mark for this and post it in the letter box and note the time it takes to reach your friend so okay children um read the chapter thoroughly and um, i have already uh, uploaded the um, question answers of chapter 17 uh, after that i will upload chapter 18 and next class we will meet again let's class we will again revise the chapter and if you have any queries then you can ask me okay children
take care thank you bye bye